Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jayla J. Shell. if you are new. And in today's video, we are doing another Telcor review, you guys. As you know, I am enjoying this brand, thoroughly enjoying this brand, okay? Because I am introducing the third and fourth bags that I have ordered from this brand and I am just loving them. So in today's video, I wanted to switch it up. And since I've actually been wearing this brand for a while now, I wanted to show you guys exactly what I keep inside my Telfar bag and just show you another bag that I've recently ordered. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Before we get into this video, you guys, I wanna take a moment to admire my lovely halter top by Swayze by KK Slim. Them. Check it out you guys. I will leave her information in the description box, but she just makes the most adorable pieces Check her out you guys. I will leave all her information in the description box So of course if you missed my last video go ahead and check that out and then come right back here Because in that video I break down exactly what I do to secure these very high demand bags and I think once you take my little tips and tricks, y'all, you will have no intimidation on that website and you will be able to secure every bag that you want. So first, let's just get right into it with this cream small shopping bag that I got. It is so pretty, you guys. I love this bag. And I'm going to be honest, it's honestly turned into my everyday bag. I know that when watching a few reviews, people would say that these are bags that you wouldn't usually wear every single day just because you didn't want to see any wear and tear. But I'm going to be honest, you guys, I've been wearing her every single day for probably about three weeks now. It's been a while. So... I haven't noticed anything at all. She honestly still looks brand spanking new. And just so you can see that color, I'll just get a little bit closer. And it is just so gorgeous, you guys. I love this bag. Hey, hey guys, so getting right into what I keep inside. First things first, as you can see poking out, I keep my keys inside my bag. And I am that type of person to have some busy keys. So they fit right inside. It's no big deal. I've never had any problems dropping them or anything like that so as I told you guys in the last video my biggest worry when getting this bag was I didn't know if my phone would fit in there and y'all to my wonderful surprise my phone fits in there perfectly so that's the next thing I keep in my bag the next thing I actually keep a wallet pretty much the size of my phone and that fits in there Next thing are my mask, of course. Just, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, you guys. Of course, while we're on that topic, hand sanitizer. Let's see, next thing's next. We have some lotion, just some Dove lotion. Next thing is my AirPods. I keep my AirPods in there. And y'all, look how she's still holding her form. These bags are really good for just holding their shape. I don't worry about it bending and you know having lines or anything like that to make the bag look not as new. It honestly holds this shape. And I think that's one of my favorite things about it because taking all my things out, it still looks just the same. So I know it's never over packed and I know that when I take it apart, it's not gonna fall apart, okay? Next thing I keep in there is my alarm. This is just like a safety feature that I keep on me at all times and it has a light and an alarm just in case of emergencies. The next thing I keep in there is some lip gloss and I'm gonna go ahead and do a shameless plug because I can, because it's my channel, because it's my business and I want you guys to know that I keep my Queen's Black lip gloss in there, okay? And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put that in the cards as well. Go ahead and check out my video about launching my business and about just five tips that I have for you if you wanna start a business. So check those out as well. Um, but yeah, I just keep my Queen's Black lip gloss in there and that's it, you guys. I don't really overload her, but I definitely keep my essentials in there. I never am missing anything when I'm out with that bag on. For all, I like this bag a lot. I did notice a lot of people saying, you know, with the colors like the pinks and then the neutrals like the blacks, they noticed that there was a bit of a difference in quality. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't totally noticed that difference, but this is the only bag that I have actually worn out, um, you know, aside from the ones that I've bought. So, 
I'm not quite sure, but what I will say is the quality is really nice with this bag. I still love the feel of it. I love the size. I love the shape. I really enjoy this bag and I have been wearing it every single day. So wear and tear has not been an issue for me and I don't think it should be one for you either. So this is the cream bag. Moving right into it, honey, we have this silver medium shopping bag here. So this bag is just so pretty, y'all. It's just so metallic and just so nice. I will say, first of all, I'm sticking by what I said, okay? I think there should be a bag in between the small and the medium. That's just me. That's just me. That's just how I feel. But hey, look, I'm still going to buy the bags, okay? But this is the silver bag. And if you guys are a little bit nervous about the more metallic looking bags, about how they're going to come out in person, it is exactly how they look on the website and on their Instagram. They are definitely super metallic -y and bright. I mean, this bag is actually a little blinding, but in a good way, okay? She's, it's a lot on the eyes, but it's very pretty. And um, what I will say about these types of bags is that they can really take a very simple and basic outfit, like a white t-shirt shirt and some jeans and just take it up to a whole new level I mean these are definitely some really pretty statement pieces but also like I'm not trying too hard but I'm doing something you know like you see something's going on but I'm chilling you know so if you want that type of look I would definitely go for the more metallic looking bags and this is also a very functional bag with the size being medium I think this is just a perfect bag for just a regular day where you need your things or a rainy day where you need to put an umbrella inside or whatever it may be you can definitely do that now in comparison to the small bag this bag is of course much heavier okay I can kind of feel it holding it right now it's a little bit heavy but that's a good thing you know it's really thick and I can just tell the quality is just really nice so I really like this bag as well you guys if you would like to join my youtube family go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and i will see you guys in the next video i hope that you have found this to be very helpful very fun and that you yourself see yourself getting a telfar bag perhaps i don't know i'm gonna stop talking but i will see you guys in the next video stay lovely stay safe stay amazing stay whatever you are and i will see you guys later Bye bye